Hello guys, this is another episode of Techno Blurb. I'm Eben Wilkins. And I'm Maurice John. And today we're going to talk about tap. <laughs> tap. <laughs> Well, backstory, um, Consovi, I don't know if, anybody, if you guys know about the awesome app Consovi, but Consovi is a mobile app created by Sinus Hines. Um, how that started, it actually started through the I Squared competition. The first ever I Squared competition. Right. Yeah. And then he entered that idea. And then he actually went and spoke to Live at the time. I don't think it was Flo at mm-hmm. that point. So Live. Um, and they assisted him to release the app Conservi. Um, I remember all the way back then going to the press release, um, seeing the app in action for the first time. And so. so he has come along with a young entrepreneur and a very social one too. And he is planning to rebrand Conservi and rename it to TAP. Yeah. Um, adding a very, very interesting and useful feature. But um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what we have seen so far. We've been given the opportunity to see the beta, how it works. And uh, before the public gets to see it, we are gonna talk about it. So, what is TAP? Well, TAP is previously known as Conservi. Mm-hmm. And so, Maurice, what is it? Um, it is an aggre- a- aggregator. Um, so, you have a lot of deals and um, promotions. Um, so, the business people um, post their different deals on the app. And us as users, we get to see those deals and uh, benefit from them. Yeah, so that's that's in a basic nutshell. So from my observation, it is so it is basically central centralized around food, events, and um, deals. Deals. So that is that is the, the central core of the app. Yeah. So so as you go into the app, you have at the top your popular deals, top stores, you have events. If you swipe, which will reveal the menu on the side, or you can tap at the top, you have offers around you, you have events, you could share it, rate it, change the language, but we're going to focus on trying out how to use this app functionality, especially the payment option. So I'm going to go in and see a deal, I see free drinks with purchase. I go into this free drink with purchase. I say it's valid until August 11th. That's past. But hey, we are allowed because this is a test. And then when you click buy now, you're given the option to see the quantity. Then you see that the date today is September the 5th. I want to proceed. What time do I want to collect this? I will be going for lunch around maybe 12.15. Proceed. Then I hit proceed and I see my order. I see the price, which is 950 US. I get a discount, I have a service charge. So my total cost will be $8.20. When I tap on confirm, then it, all right, here it is. It's powered by Stripe. So my email, I put in my email. Dot John. Mail.com put in my card information. Alright, and I put in my expiration date, my CV number, and I hit pay now, and it's confirmed. And let's see what happens after it's confirmed. Alright, so payment complete. And I get this um, this code, which uh, when I go, and it also send me an email to confirm my order. So this code will be used at the at Lola's when I go to Lola's, 
and the manager or whoever is dealing with payments will have the admin application that will be used to scan this code to verify my purchase so that I can get my food. And that is the process, quick, simple and easy, just like that. So the promotion used in this video was a um, food ordering app, mm -hmm. well, ordering food. Mm -hmm. And it shows us that we can place an order, say if we want to eat in or we want to take away the order. Mm -hmm. um, persons can also use their card to pay right. for and that. That is huge. It's a big deal. Big deal. Savings. Big yeah. deal. Mm -hmm. So when you when you when when you get to use the application, you will see that there is a new system. And what is very significant about this new system is that it accepts mobile payments. Why is that significant? Because in St. Vincent, we don't have the laws to govern um, e-commerce, so we have been somewhat handicapped in terms of business to do our e-commerce transactions. But um, Sinus and his team, they using the power of Stripe and Stripe Atlas um, have come up with a beautiful solution that they are able to use mobile payments. So, uh, okay, so the success of this app does not only fall on the owners of the app itself, but really and truly, I think most of it depends on the businesses who are dependent on the app. Yes. For them to really be productive and to ensure that they are, what's the word, on time with their service. Because, I mean, it, it won't help that I say I come and, you know, make an order for food or whatever the case is and say I'm going to come in at 1 o'clock. And when I come at 1 o'clock, the food isn't ready. That is true. That makes, is true. It makes no sense. So, the businesses who are using these apps to get to their customers, a lot of owners has to be on them to make this venture successful. I agree, I agree. And that is a huge, 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 huge part of it. it, it yeah. It is a twofold exactly. system. So, if can accept this um, new method of payment and and way of going about ordering food and different events and so, would the businesses do their part to do. ensure exactly. that they embrace the technology? And because mm. the, the, the worst thing yeah. is to find out that you pay for something and you're not getting your service right exactly. away, or <laughs> you attempt to pay for your service. Mm -hmm don't get the chance to do it or unable to get the service done mm -hmm. and two tools you hear someone else get got through before you and you know you've been trying for a very long time those, those things are really annoying for customers okay. so, so uh, yeah uh, it's up to, a large huge part of success is up to the owners of the business to make yes. sure that they are you know and this accurate is, this is one of my concerns too yeah? in St. Vincent I don't think we place a lot of love and affection for IT IT when infusing business can take businesses to the next level and really push them forward. Um, sometimes you, you, you find it hard to convince a business that they need a website or uh, even going as far as a mobile application. Yeah. So it calls for an open-mindedness of businesses now to say, okay, everybody else in the world has moved on to a digital uh, way of doing things. Can we now do the same? Do the same. Yeah. and greet it with an open arm. So when you yeah. walk into a business manager and you say, okay, this is my system, and this is going to be a challenge for seeing us, mm -hmm. this is my system, this is how it works, can you integrate this? Yeah. And Success. in that integration, take it seriously. Yeah, businesses, they got to take it seriously. They got to probably create a different department just mm -hmm. to handle this alone. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't just put your cashier who deal with customers and to deal with the persons on the back end of this application. Mm -hmm. You, you got to take it seriously mm -hmm. to make it successful. Right. So the app, I, I see it, I like it. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, a huge, wide open space for, for success. But I just hope that this doesn't fall by the wayside because of um, the business side of it all. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping also then the the consumer because we shop online all the time nobody can convince me that Vincent Chance don't know how to shop online 
Um, every time I go down to to customs, I see the little Amazon or the <laughs> smile on the face. So you know when Sentient shopping online, you know they are custom to online transactions. So it's not a case where they have to now familiarize themselves with shopping online and those concepts. So yeah. that mind share um, is already there. Right. I am hoping that we can get Mr. Hines in the buildings for us. We can do an interview and talk more about his app project. So stick, stay tuned, see whenever he comes into the studio and chat with us about his project. Yeah. So guys, that's another episode of Techno Blub. Don't forget to like our page and to follow us. Leave your comments below. And if you have a project or an app similar to Conservi or should I say Tap, tap. <laughs> just give us a heads up, shout out, you know, let us review it if you want. <laughs> We're glad we'll be glad to do it. Yes, yes, yes. All most right. definitely, most yeah. definitely. We're all about exposing um, the world and St. Vincent to local developers. Um, we have to support. Yeah. So just send us a message and we will be glad to review your project and possibly help in any way that we can to make your project a success. Yep. So, see you next time. See you next time, guys. Alright, bye.